happy to see you. I wanted to make sure that if you haven't received your science experiment in the mail, you should probably get it by tomorrow for sure. I mailed you a science experiment directions. I mailed you some beans, some paper towels, and two Ziploc clear bags. Be sure that you first read all of the instructions first that came in the envelope. So today I'm first going to teach you a language arts lesson, plus bring it to science. Science is always fun. So first, there's three words. I want you to think about a word called hypothesis. I want you to think about a word observe, and I want you to think about a word germinate or germinate. I am not going to read the whole thing to you because I want you to do that at home. But one of the things I really want you to focus on as you read is the skill context clues. Don't panic. You might not know these words. But don't worry, you don't have to get up and get a big fat dictionary. You don't have to go to the computer. There might be hints. The author might have given you hints, and those are called context clues. So, for the first word, hypothesis, I'm not going to panic. I'm going to keep reading. And if I keep reading, it tells me the answer. The second sentence says, thinking about what plants need, form a hypothesis. A hypothesis is an educated guess. In other words, you use what you know to take a good guess of what might happen. I didn't need to panic. The next two sentences told me exactly what hypothesis means. Next word, observe. I might know what observe means, but I want to make sure. This has a word right here, or. O-R, or. It says, hmm, takes the guesswork out of knowing if your seeds have germinated since you can easily observe or watch them. So I think observe means to watch. Another great word here is germinating. I may not know what that means. I might take the word and go, well, I know what germs are, but I don't know what germinating is. So I'm going to use context and these other words in my science experiment to help me figure that out. So I'm going to find the word. There it is right there. Paper, towel, paper towels, filler paper, or even newspaper provides an excellent medium for germinating seeds. Germination is when a sprout first comes out of a seed. So context clues, you guys. Don't panic when you come to a word you don't know. Look for the word or. Read the sentence before. Read the sentence that the word is in. Read the sentence after, and it will tell you probably exactly what the word means. If it doesn't, then you may have to get a dictionary or use your computer or have a conversation about that word with a family member at home. So let's get on to some cool science. One of the things that I'm going to ask you to do, I gave you everything that you need. A great scientist gets out their things that they need first. You're going to need your beans, Miss Wicker mailed to you. You're going to need your two bags and something to label your bags with. So the first thing you're going to do is you have to decide something you want to change. Just one thing you're changing. For example, mm, I'm going to be a scientist and maybe I want to see, well, I know plants need sunlight, air, and water. But maybe I want to change the difference in light. So maybe I hang one here in the window, or maybe I hang one below so it doesn't get as much sun. And then I form a hypothesis, and I think, hmm, I think the one that's taped in the window is going to grow more because I know plants need light. Another thing you can change is one thing. Another one thing that you can change, Ms. Whitaker decided to change the different type of liquid. I used a water bottle with water, and I got some water from the hose outside of my watering can. That is the one thing I'm going to change. What is the one thing I'm going to change? The one thing I'm going to change is the liquid. So I'm going to label my bag so I can keep track of my bags. I put the seeds in my bag. I labeled my bag. This one says water bottle water. Put your seeds in there. Moisten your paper towel. Make it a little bit wet. Seal the bag up. Just giving it a tiny bit of air. 
And remember, boys and girls, I, I am not going to test sunlight. I am going to test different types of water. So I'm going to put both of them in my window. So I'm going to put my And then I'm going to put my hose water one. Remember the one from the hose? My beans are in here. I labeled my bag. And remember, what's the only thing that I'm testing? I'm testing the different liquid. But maybe you decide to do a water bottle and Gatorade. It's both a liquid, and maybe you form your hypothesis and you say, I think the one in Gatorade is going to make my seed sprout faster because Gatorade gives you energy and Gatorade also has water in it. Remember, a hypothesis is not just a random guess. You have to use information that you know to take an educated guess. So I think my hypothesis is going to be this. I think my beans in the bag that I moistened the, pa the paper towel with hose water is going to grow faster than the one that I used water bottle water. And the reason why is because I think, well, I water my plants outside with this and I think my plants outside grow better than the ones that I do inside. And I think water bottle, water in a bottle is made for humans. Maybe not for plants, but my hypothesis could be wrong. But you know what's cool about being a scientist? Your hypothesis could be wrong, but you could still get a great grade because you only changed one thing. You followed the experiment right, and you did a fabulous job. Don't worry if you're still a little confused what to do because I mailed you the directions. So have fun with this. Make sure you observe, you look, and make sure that you form your hypothesis. Have a great night.